that we got from a garage sale. Not sure if it worked or not. Got it for five bucks, so we just decided to take it apart. As you can see here, we already took the shell off. All we had to do to do that was unscrew a couple things. There are some very strange looking screws, like that one right there. And the warning label. Oh yes, the warning label. But, um, so we couldn't get past those because we didn't have a screwdriver for it, so we just pried it open with a screwdriver. And you can see in here, there's a multitude of components. Don't know if the lighting is so great here, but, uh, see the circuit board right there. So the components down on it. There's a little uh, mains transformer right there. Flyback transformer. Or a uh, cooling motor. Uh, there's a capacitor in here somewhere. We'll have to look at that later. See more of the components around here. Here's the big old flyback transformer. It's just massive. Then here is the capacitor right here. This huge thing right here. And here's a whatever that is. Recording. Alright, see the stick? See, what we did here was we took this big wooden stick and we put a nail through it. And we tied a big copper wire or from the one end of the nail. That you could barely into, see? Yes, into the ground right here, which we took a little, well, another screw, put in the ground. To Somewhere his, uh, over here. Wire. This is an extra Well, keep it there. Huh? Keep it holding there. Make sure it's like fully discharged. Here we uh cut the wire on the capacitor here, so whether it's charged or well, whether if we discharge it or not, it's not gonna zap us. So it's it still beyond. technically could zap you if you connect, you touch both the terminals. Okay, yeah. Well, yeah. We won't touch. Of course. I mean, if you didn't want to bother to discharge it, I guess don't use that screwdriver. Why? Not big enough. If you, uh, I guess technically if you don't want to actually bother to discharge it, you could really fast, remember? Hmm? Really fast. Uh, I suppose you could just cut one of the wires while it's turned off, that'll do it. No. So this is the result of our uh, stuff. We have an empty microwave. And then we That's all... where all the components were. That's where the motor was. There's the base. Yeah, then you have all the components over here. We have, we, have. we have the front. This is the flyback transformer. Flyback transformer, the amazing thing. That's ow, the freaking huge one. Barrett, yeah. 100 mega, uh, mega, what, what, mega? mega ohms. Mega ohms. Mega ohms. Yeah. <laughs> this is the uh, touch pad. I tore the thing off. Here's and the magnetron. I'm going to get that off eventually. There's the magnetron, which we'll yeah, do so desperately Yeah, There's two neonamine magnets here. Show the camera, Some board. metal plates here. And some shiny gold looking thing here. Oh, there, there's the magnets what he wanted so desperately. Yes, here's the uh, light. The light. The turn motor. Turn motor. Cooling fan. Cooling fan. And a bunch of <laughs> like components these that we don't are door know switches. They, yeah, those are door switches. We have no clue what these are. Uh, yeah, a bunch of wire. A bunch of those things. And plugs and stuff. And uh, this is pretty cool. We got a lot of stuff. It's a piece of random scrap. There's our discharge piece, stick. <laughs> that's our discharge stick. That's the screws. Big sheet metal thing. Big sheet metal thing. Sprite zero. Yeah. Because they only buy zero. That's the garbage scraps that we aren't using. Yeah. All right then. Oh yeah, and there's the plug, which we can have some fun with. Oh, That'll yeah. possibly power our Tesla coil. Yeah. That's good.